Can you work with them if the Democrats win the House? Well, we'd certainly try. I'm looking to unify. I always like to unify. We will certainly try. They've had a very hard time because they haven't been winning, and we'll see what happens in five days from now. It'll be very exciting, and it's going to be a very close race. They don't talk about the blue wave anymore. It's going to be a very close race. I think the Senate, we're looking very good. We feel very good about the Senate. And frankly, I think we feel pretty good about the House, but a lot of people, you know, so many races, it's hard to, it's hard for me to get to everyone. into the investigations and they get into your, your business dealings, you ask for your tax returns. I've been an open book for gonna... so long, John. You know that better than anybody. I mean, I'm an open book. And frankly, uh, so many people have looked at me for so many years. And I guess it's probably one of the reasons I won. But uh, I think that they're going to want to get along, too. And Okay, you're talking about 10,000, maybe 15,000 active duty U.S. military yeah. to the border, more than we have fighting the Taliban in Afghanistan, more than we have fighting ISIS in Syria. Right. You really, you're really going to do that? It's very important. We have to have a wall of people, very highly trained people, uh, terrific, dedicated patriots. That's what they are. You have caravans coming up that look a lot larger than it's reported, actually. I mean, I'm pretty good at estimating crowd size. And I will tell you, they look a lot bigger than people would think. So we'll find out. They had a very rough one just formed in El Salvador now, if you can believe it. And it was very nasty. You saw what took place. And uh, you look at what's coming up from Honduras and right through Mexico. And Mexico's helping us. But these are rough people. There are a lot of rough people in those crowds. And you, Mexico suffered a lot of, of, lot of damage in the last skirmish. Well, what we see is deeply impoverished people fleeing violence, many of them women and children. You're going to send 15,000 active-duty well, U.S. Actually military? mostly men, and it's actually mostly young men, and a lot of rough people, a lot of rough people, John. If you look, and it's been well reported, it's a lot of young people, a lot of young men, and they always, and they have been doing this, they're pushing the women right up into the front, not good, and they're pushing the few kids right up to the front. But if you take a look at the, the uh, caravans, and there's not, now there's more than one. I mean, there's two or three forming. You take a look at it, you have a lot of very tough, strong young men. And if you look at the skirmish they had with the Mexican uh, police, it's a combination of police and the army, it was a nasty skirmish. But they're 900 miles away. The, the, the active duty military, you know the law. I mean, you're the president. Yep. They, they, they can't arrest. Uh, people crossing the border, they well, can't. It depends. They, it depends. They, national they, emergency they covers. To... National emergency covers a lot of terror. They can't inv invade our country. You look at that; it almost looks like an invasion. It really does look like an invasion. Think those caravans they are can't... an invasion. Oh, I think so. I think when you look at some of them, when you look at some of the people within the caravan, yeah, I think it could be considered an invasion of our country. We can't have it. We can't have it from a cost standpoint. It's not fair to our citizens, these are, John. These are some of the poorest people in the world coming up here. Yeah, there's mean, some dangerous are... people. These are some rough people. I mean, you look at uh, MS-13, they come from that area. This is a very rough group of people coming up. Not in all cases, but this is a very rough group of people. Look what they did to the Mexican army at the border. Look at the skirmish they just had. That was a very bad thing for the Mexican army. That was not easy. So we'll see what happens, and hopefully there won't be a confrontation. You've been saying that Democrats want to take away pre-existing conditions. I mean, it's your administration that's supporting a lawsuit that no, would no, allow no, help no, but insurance I'm going to companies. replace pre-existing conditions, and I've always been there. What the Democrats are going to do is they're going to destroy our entire health care, and you're not going to have any health care. And finally, I remember, you remember well in the campaign, you made a promise. You said, I will never lie to you. So can you tell me now, honestly, have you kept to that promise at all times? Have you always well, been Well, I try. Truthful? I mean, I do try. I think you try, too. You say things about me that are not necessarily correct. I do try, and uh, I always want to tell the truth. When I can, I tell the truth. I mean, sometimes it turns out to be where something happens, it's different, or there's a change. But I always like to be truthful.
Well, I think we're doing great in the Senate, as you would probably see and say, and I've heard you sort of say it, but we're doing pretty well in the Senate, and I think we're doing pretty well in the House. Uh, you know what I'll say? It's going to be an interesting evening.